Welcome to Spark News Club. Today's news about former Oregon cornerback Kyrie Jackson killed in Maryland car crash. Minnesota Vikings rookie cornerback Kyrie Jackson was killed Saturday morning in a car crash in Maryland, police and the team said. Jackson 24 was one of three people who died in an overnight three-car crash in Prince George's County, according to Maryland State Police. The Vikings released a statement saying the team spoke to Jackson's family, and is, devastated by the news. I am heartbroken by the loss of Kyrie, Vikings general manager Kwesi Adifo Mensa said in the statement. As we got to know him throughout the pre-draft process, it was clear the goals Kyrie wanted to accomplish both professionally and personally. His story was one of resilience. He was taking steps to become the best version of himself not just for him, but for those who cared about and looked up to him. Jackson was a fourth-round selection of the Vikings in the 2024 NFL Draft. He played two years at Alabama before finishing his college career with one season at Oregon, where he started at cornerback. Oregon head football coach Dan Lanning paid tribute to Jackson on social media, I will miss your smile. Great player better person, he wrote. Jackson was in the running to earn a starting cornerback job at the team's training camp, which opens later this month in Egan, Minnesota. I am at a loss for words. My heart goes out to Kyrie's family, friends, teammates and coaches, Vikings coach Kevin O'Connell said in the statement. Police said Jackson died at the scene. The other victims were Isaiah Hazel 23 and Anthony Lydon 24. Hazel played college football at Maryland and Charlotte, and Lydon played at Florida State and Penn State. The three won state championships together at Dr. Henry A. Wise Junior High School in Maryland. They were in the same vehicle at the time of the crash. Hazel was driving, and Jackson and Lydon were passengers, police said. Investigators believe the driver of a second vehicle traveling north attempted to change lanes, at a high rate of speed, when they struck the car driven by Hazel in a third vehicle. Nobody was injured in the second or third vehicles. Investigators say alcohol might have been a contributing factor in the crash, and charges are pending, the investigation and consultation with the Prince George's County State's Attorney's Office. Do like and subscribe Spark News for more updates.